Okay, we're gonna take this demon carburetor apart. Now, think about this demon. This uh, Barry Grant carburetor was, was uh, purchased before Holly bought them. So there are no numbers on this thing. So it's hard to tell what I have anymore. I purchased this, I wanna say back in 2003. I've never had it apart. It does need a little cleaning up. Let's see what it looks like. The float bowl's off. Okay, it looks like these uh, demons take standard holly gaskets. That's what I've been told. That's what it looks like. And although these were Teflon coated from the factory, they stuck. I didn't get the other side off yet. Everything looks very clean inside. We'll take things apart and clean them up. See if I can find the problem. The other thing I want to point out on this Barry Grant, um, there's an air bleed there so for adjusting the idle speed, which is really nice. And we want to adjust our throttle blades so they're in that slot. Same in the front and back. So the mixture screw will actually work. It's got four corner idle. I'm going to verify my adjustments. Everything looks good. I'm going to clean it up, get some gaskets, get the secondary float bowl off and record the jet size. Right now it looks like our mixture is good. I just have a problem on one cylinder. Thought I would check the carburetor out. I'm not seeing anything yet. I'll continue to work on it and uh, let you know. Well, I hope it's not a case of fix it till it's broke. Um, this carburetor is very clean inside. I'm gonna get some new gaskets. I'm gonna check this power valve. I did note the jet sizes. We have 76 up front, 83s in the back. I don't feel I need to make an adjustment right now. I'll just get this good and clean. Make a throttle plate adjustment, fine tune. And get some gaskets. Hopefully it still runs. Okay, I got a new set of gaskets for the carburetor. Um, the power valve checks out. Carburetor's cleaned up pretty good. And I'm not gonna touch the throttle plates. I think they look good where they're at. Just wanted to verify. And we're gonna put her back together. Get her back on the car. Okay, so we did some work to the front suspension and we're coming to the rear suspension, the shocks. Uh, we got a little um, issue with our shock mounts. Uh, the shock mount, upper shock mounts have been ripped out by the previous owner and then they scabbed a piece of angle iron in and bolted the shock in through there. Well, these shocks are shot, so we're going to replace them. We do have the proper shocks and we're going to try to reconstruct the upper mounts, but we don't have enough time, so we have to replace what we have. These shocks came off of an 85 Mustang and they have uh, a threaded spindle mount. You can see it's just a hole cut into the angle iron. The angles are wrong, the lengths, everything is wrong about this. Um, you can see we have the adjustable pinion snubber and super stock springs back here. So we gotta get the right shocks eventually, uh, we'll work with what we have right now. So I got the old shock on the bench. And there's no steel sleeve in this bushing. And of course the new shocks do have a steel sleeve. So we're driving it out. We're using my new to me Colombian vise and we're using a socket and a deep well socket and just pressing it through and it's coming out no problem. So we'll get both shocks prepped, get the other one off the car and show you what it looks like. 
Okay, we got the carburetor put back together and we put, got the shocks on the back of this car. That should help. So when are we gonna race this thing again? It's gonna be June 19th and 20th. Okay, so it'll be another, another week or so before we race it to see if we've made an improvement. That's, that's good enough for tonight. Thanks for watching.